Okay, okay, I hope, I hope this is the last leak because I just can't, I just can't deal with it anymore. We're getting, we're get, we're just getting too many, aren't we? I want to die over this. Anyways, we've got a brand new Assassin's Creed Origins leak from Game Informer magazine. This is a huge one. <sighs> Let's do this. So we've got two images. Well, I mean three images, but like, so so we're gonna start with the first one. So the first one is the front cover of this magazine. We have got Bayek standing atop the Sphinx. Looking awesome. That's all I can say. Looks like we've seen him a b billion times now. Um, so that's him. We've got his eagle right there, which clearly is gonna play a part. We've had the eagle show up too many times in these leaks for that not to be a gameplay element. So, you know, there's that, but who knows how it will play. You've got the, the pyramids there in the background looking like they did, etc., etc. Everything else is pretty much standard Egyptian stuff. Um, it says Assassin's Creed Origins, but again, that's not the logo of the game. That is just Game Informer having Assassin's Creed Origins in the front of the magazine, so do not worry about that. Underneath that, however, it does say, as an empire falls, a brotherhood rises. It's talking about, I guess, talking about the, I don't know which empire, I don't know, I'm not a historical expert, but brotherhood rises, talking about the rise of the Assassin Brotherhood. For, for, like the Assassin Brotherhood as we know it, we're going to be seeing the origins in this game. Obviously, the word origins and stuff like that implied that, but now that is confirmed. So the second image we've got is on the left, clearly being the same thing as pre-order card, meaning the pre-order card was correct. So Nick from the Creed, you were wrong. Uh, probably should have bet you for uh, whether it was real or not. I would have won some sick monies there. But anyways, uh, we've got Assassin's Creed Origins. We basically talked about this entire image before, but this one is in color, which looks really nice. And I would assume that this is the front cover of the game, which looks really, really nice. Do I have to say that is some very, very nice box art looking absolutely gorgeous right there. Um, and fantastic. On the right-hand side, we've got The Brotherhood Begins, which is, of course, again, referring to the beginning of the Assassin's, Assassin's Brotherhood as we know it to this day. And people are going to be asking, but what about the Hidden Blade? The Hidden Blade was, when was it used? 500 BC or something like that? I don't remember. But it, it's, it's going to be in the game. It's a fucking Assassin's Creed game. The release date there is October 27th, so we know when the game is coming out, which is absolutely insane. Just a few months' time, and we will have Origins in our hands, which is awesome. We've then got another confirmation of the secrets of the first pyramid uh, and some like images of kind of like, you know, gameplay designs, but of course not the game itself. Uh, then it down here, you have got the various editions. Of course, not the collector's editions, but you have got on the far right standard edition, which you can barely see, it's kind of cut off. Then you've got the red one, which is the deluxe pack edition. Then you've got the gold edition, and then you've got the steelbook case edition, showing the various different prices for these things, and what will be included is above, uh, where it says upgrade for bonus content, and as you can see, you've actually got this image on the left, is the box art for each of these, so I was correct uh, in, in, in saying that, and uh, those are the box arts, which is awesome, but this also came with a ton of information uh, from the article within the thing, and this is stuff I would all consider to be confirmed, so if you don't want any spoilers for the game, uh, because this could contain possible spoilers, like, you know, it's places we might visit, settings, things like that, you know, things that you might want to just wait until the announcement for, so if you if you want to, then by all means. There are no story spoilers in here, so be mindful of that, There's not gonna, they're not going to spoil anything, this is an official article that obviously has just got out a little bit too early, so this is an official Ubisoft thing they will have been releasing after the game has been announced, uh, but it just got out a little bit early, so there's no actual spoilers, but just just in case you don't want uh, the game to possibly be spoiled for you, then, you know, maybe uh, you can click off now if you want to. Anyways, so this is a summary of all the information that we got. So I'm just going to jump through this and read off everything that we see here that has been stated on the Reddit post, which you can find in the description. So all the new info is as follows. They started working on this game before Unity, which we already knew about. There's a brand new fighting system. Exactly. We already knew about that as well. New AI fantastic news. No mini-map, but an Elder Scrolls type compass at the top. Now, shout out to Zentry, he actually spotted this uh, a couple months ago when we got that screenshot of the dude on the boat. He said at the top, looks like a compass, and I was like, really mate? I don't know whether I can see it. I did see it kinda, but I was like, I was a little bit skeptical, but he was correct about that, so shout out to you mate. Anyways, uh, next thing is there's no more sprinting button. Speed depends on the analog stick. That's really weird. What? that what does that mean so you just so so you just so you don't automatically walk you automatically run oh that's a bit weird i don't know how that's gonna play out we'll have to wait and see uh crouching is back of course fantastic the story is being kept a secret awesome i don't need to know anything about the story till i play the game eagle vision is a subtle pulse that highlights objects not enemies good making it not as overpowered i'm not mad at that at all 
takes place during the ascension and reign of Cleopatra. Fine, that means it's a, it's a huge period, especially considering it's at 49 BCE, meaning she would have been a young kid then, and she died in 30 BCE, meaning we're going to get, you know, at least a 19-year period uh, where this game is set, which is fantastic news. Uh, you can climb everything in the game, <laughs> always good. Large cities and small cities with many landmarks including Memphis and Alexandria, awesome, awesome news. The controllable eagle leak was true, which is a shame, but who knows how it's going to play out. It might not be an awful thing. We'll have to wait and see before completely judging. NPCs have a day and night cycle, and this includes the time for them to eat, sleep, and work, which is awesome. That's really, really cool. Very much like Skyrim and The Witcher in terms of these, you know, NPCs have their own life. They did say this about Unity as well, so take this with a grain of salt. They might just be exaggerating things. The attack buttons are now right shoulder and trigger, so I guess you're going to have R1 be a light attack, a right trigger, or like R2 be a heavy attack. Possibly. This is really, really strange. I don't know what to think about this, but I don't know. Not mad at it. Change is never a bad thing. Let's just hope it turns out well. The AI no longer takes turns to attack, meaning that this is going to be a lot more difficult and not the classic Assassin's Creed. They all stand around waiting, you know, to attack you kind of thing. That's always a good news. The new combat system is more hitbox driven. As you fight, an adrenaline gauge fills up. When both attack buttons are pressed, power powerful attacks are unleashed. That's very, very interesting. I uh, don't know what to make of that just yet. We'll have to wait to see that in action. The left shoulder button is a lock-on. There are treasures to find in the depths of water, sunken ships, long forgotten ruins. That's really interesting. Reminds me of Black Flag in terms of exploration and things like that. The statistic element of customization is now removed. So I guess that means everything is now specific. Everything you customize is now completely just um, aesthetic, which is nice. Uh, new, there's a new gear system where players can improve specific parts of their gear by crafting materials. Very similar to Black Flag in that sense, and that's not all a bad thing. The leveling system has a level cap of 40. Fine. Bayek is not the only playable character in the game, but that character is a secret. Now, my mind immediately dropped to shit, we're gonna have two protagonists. However, I don't think that that is the case. I think they're talking modern day in this sense, because the front cover only shows Bayek and his eagle. There is no other sight of a character there, so this is either talking about Rift missions or a modern day protagonist. Either way, very, very cool. And if they're keeping a secret, I would suggest this means modern day is returning in its full form, which is awesome news. There are legendary items to the loot in the game, which is awesome. This looks like it's taking the model of uh, George's video, uh, but also kind of RPG systems, always a good thing, sounding really, really cool. You can add blocked arrows to your inventory. I don't know what that means, but um, Cool. You can no longer one-hit enemies that are more powerful than you with your hidden blades. That's good news. Or is it? I don't know. I don't think about that. Buttons for free running up and down are now removed. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So it's a completely different system. So no sprint button and free running up and down. Oh, this is weird. What? I don't... Look, it's going to work regardless. We know it's going to work. It's something new, but I reckon it's going to work. We're going to have to wait to see it in action, because obviously on paper, this sounds really strange. But I think we're going to have to wait and see and see what this looks like. Uh, the next thing is that puzzles are back, but are now more challenging, and there's less switches. I'm assuming that means, like, the tombs from Assassin's Creed 1, I mean, Assassin's Creed 2 through Revelations which is really good news. Tyler's going to be happy. There's a much more in-depth ability graph with three different paths, Seer, Warrior, and Hunter, which would mean loads of skill trees with different paths you can take, which is really, really fantastic news. And the last thing is there are gladiator battles in arenas, which is, of course, cool. Probably would work like a challenge system like the Fight Clubs, but more ancient Egypty. So, oh, that was a shit ton of information, Jesus Christ. So that's all the info we have. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We're a couple of days from announce. Does this get you hyped? because it certainly gets me hyped to see all these changes, like, dude. Some of these things sound either really good or really intriguing. There's nothing in there that's made me think, shit, this isn't good, which I think is good is a good thing, because it's just, it's either intrigued me or I thought it's really good. So any of the changes they've made, I'm not against those. I am just incredibly intrigued by them because they're very, very different for Assassin's Creed. So we'll have to wait and see how it works. Just a couple of days and we'll be seeing it for ourselves and seeing if it really, really has improved the game. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. What's your favorite piece of information? Jesus Christ, guys. Stay tuned on this channel for all of the updates that, that will be coming um, over the course of E3. And I'll see you all next time.